Good morning all. In the last previous lecture, we study about the types of racemose inclusions, and today we are going to study about the types of cymose inclusions. There are two main types of inclusions: racemose inclusions and cymose inclusions. The mode of arrangement of group of flowers on the reproductive shoot is called as an inclusion. and there are two types racemose inclusions and cymose inclusions in the last previous lecture we studied about the racemose inclusions and today we are going to study about the types of cymose inclusions when older flowers are at the apex and younger flowers are at the base then that type of inclusions is called as a cymose inflorescences and today we are going to study about the types of cymose inclusions there are four types of cymose inflorescences the first one is solitary axillary inflorescences second one is uniparous inflorescences third one is biparous inflorescences and last one is multiparous inflorescences there are four types solitary axillary inflorescences uniparous inflorescences biparous inflorescences and last one is a multiparous inflorescences first of all we study about the solitary axillary inflorescences see this is the solitary axillary inflorescences here the peduncle bears a single terminal flower this is the peduncle the main axis of inflorescence is called as a peduncle and this peduncle bears a single terminal flower then that type of inflorescence is called as a solitary axillary inflorescence and the example of solitary axillary inflorescence is hibiscus rose etc when peduncle bears single terminal flower see we study about the solitary axillary inflorescence it is a type of cymose inflorescence when peduncle bears single terminal flower then that type of inflorescence is called as a solitary axillary inflorescence an example is hibiscus rose etc then second type the second type is a uniparous inflorescence This uniparous inflorescence is also called as a monochaetic inflorescence. Uniparous is a Greek word. It is made up of two words. Uni means one and paros means branch. Uni means one. And paros means branch. Uniparous inflorescence see it is a type of cymose inflorescence here the peduncle bears single terminal flower this is peduncle the peduncle bears single terminal flower and just below it produce a single lateral branch which also bears a single flower then that type of inflorescence is called as a uniparous inflorescence it is a type of cymose inflorescence when peduncle bears single terminal flower and just below it produces the lateral branch which also bears a single flower then that type of inflorescence is called uniparous inflorescence the uniparous inflorescence is divided into two sub types the first one is a helicoid inflorescence and second one is a scorpioid inflorescence now we study the what is the difference between helicoid inflorescence and scorpioid inflorescence see this is the helicoid inflorescence here it is a type of cymose inflorescence it is a sub type of uniparous inflorescence when peduncle bears a single terminal flower and just below it produces the single lateral branch which also bears a single flower but it produces secondary branches this is peduncle which bears single terminal flower just below it produces single lateral branch which also bears a single flower but secondary branches are produced from lateral branch towards only one side then that type of inflorescence is called as a helicoid inflorescence see friends helicoid is a sub type of uniparous inflorescence here the peduncle bears single terminal flower just below it produces a 
lateral branch which also bears a single flower but this lateral branch produces secondary branches this is secondary branch and these secondary branches are towards only one side ya secondary branches jasta te ekas dishela asta mhanun yala mhanta helicoid inflorescences and the example of helicoid inflorescences is the hemelia it is one of the garden plant belonging to family rubiaceae now the second type is a scorpio it is a sub type of uniparous inflorescence here this is a peduncle the peduncle bears single terminal flower tf means terminal flower here peduncle bears single terminal flower just below it produces a lateral branch this is the lateral branch in this lateral branch having a single flower but here the secondary branches are produced these are the secondary branches and these secondary branches are produced towards both side then that type of inflorescence is called as a scorpioid inflorescence here the secondary branches are produced towards the both side hence it is called as a scorpioid inflorescence here secondary branches are produced towards only one side then it is called helicoid and the example of scorpioid inflorescence is the gossypium it is a botanical name of cotton and third type of cymose inflorescence is biparous inflorescence by means two parous means branch it is a type of cymose inflorescence see when peduncle bears single terminal flower tf means terminal flower here the peduncle bears single terminal flower and just below it produce two lateral branches two opposite lateral branches from a single point ya terminal flower sa khalun don opposite branches produce hota it produce two opposite lateral branches from a single point which also bears a single flower then that type of inflorescence is called as a biparous inflorescence by means two parous means branch here two branches are produced peduncle bears single terminal flower and just the right producer two lateral opposite branches from a single point hence it is called as a biparous inflorescence or dichasial inflorescence and the example of biparous or dichasial inflorescence is dictanthus it is the botanical name of pariza and the one of the example is a jasminum sandbag jala apan mogra manto mogra jai jui these are the jasminum and in that there is also biparous inflorescence is present and now we study about the last type of cymose inflorescence the last type of cymose inflorescence is a multiparous inflorescence multi means many parous means branch see this is a type of cymose inflorescence when peduncle bears single terminal flower see here this is a peduncle this peduncle bears single terminal flower and just below it produce more than two lateral branches here two lateral branches are produced hence called biparous inflorescence here one lateral branches branch is produced hence called uniparous inflorescence and here many branches or more than two lateral branches are produced from a single point eka single point 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 pasun anek branches arise hota that also bears a single flowers then that type of inflorescence is called as a multiparous inflorescence multiparous inflorescence is a type of cymose inflorescence when peduncle bears single terminal flower and just below it produce more than two lateral branches from a single point which also bears a single flowers then that type of inflorescence is called as multiparous inflorescence and the example of multiparous inflorescence is calyctropis in marathi we call 
Rui or Rui skin. That is the name of Cadotropis. And here we study about the types of cymos in presence. Okay. And in the next part, we study about the special type of incrustations. Beside racemose and cymose incrustations, there are also special type of incrustations. And in the next part, we study about the special type of incrustations. Okay, got it? Thank you.